Hi friends, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys another video and this is going to be my November favorites. Kind of like a November and October favorites because as you guys know, I gave birth in October. So I didn't really have much of a chance to wear too much makeup. I feel like I have a lot of stuff so I'm not going to talk too much right now. And I'm going to try not to talk too much about each product, but... I, I don't trust it. I wouldn't trust if I was you. So just jumping into it, the first thing that I want to talk about is a face primer. I've been using this all month long, even in October, I think, and I am in love with it. I I honestly use it with pretty much every single foundation. This is the J1 Jelly Pack. This is what it looks like right here. I did buy this off of Nikki Tutorial's recommendation. I feel like it is a little pricey for what it is. It's 1.69 fluid ounces and I believe it's around the $40 range, which to me that's a lot of dollars. But totally worth it. If you don't like sticky primers though, you're not gonna like this. This is super sticky. The stickiest thing that I've ever had to put on my face. That sounds really nasty, but that's because it is. It comes out, like, I don't even want to put this on my hand right now because I know this is going to be so sticky. Like, there's going to be so many things that get stuck to my hand for the rest of the day. But it comes out, like, do you see that? Do you see that? It's like a paste. It's so weird. Look how sticky that is. Can you see that? Nothing moves when I wear this, and it's just, it's, it's getting to holy grail status. I really love this, and I did buy mine at Sephora, by the way. The next product I want to talk about is a concealer that I've been loving. This is the NARS What's Your Name Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the color medium to ginger. I do usually use Biscuit, but for some reason, I purchased ginger, and ginger I think still works. It just highlights a little bit more than Biscuit would. This is the color right here. I'm not wearing it on my face today because I was really not planning to film this video. It offers so much coverage, but it is so weightless on the skin. And I just really like the finish of it. I just, I think it's really, it's not creaseless because to me everything is creasy under the eyes. But it's about as creaseless as something is going to get for me. I like this a lot more in my opinion. I like it more than the Radiant Creamy Concealer. I also like that one, but I just, I definitely like this one a lot more. I have two highlighters that I want to talk about. The first one is by Makeup Forever. It's the Artist Face Color in the color H106. This is what it looks like right here. So these are all of my Artist Face Colors. And I, I mean, these are all blushes, of course. And then this is the one highlighter all by himself. This is what it looks like right here. It's such a beautiful highlight. I... I honestly, I love it so much. I find that it's so blinding. Every time I see like a picture of me wearing this, I'm just like, wow, what am I wearing? And every time, I'm, I'm just not shocked because it's always this. It looks so beautiful on the cheeks. I think any skin tone can wear this. It is like a yellow gold, but it's, it's not too yellow, if that makes sense. I feel like it's like a yellow white gold almost, you know? And I just think anybody could wear this. I love it so, so much. And these are so pigmented. I recommend these in general, the blushes as well. The second highlighter I want to talk about is by Melt Cosmetics. And this is the Digital Dust Highlighter in the color Stargazer. This is another thing that I've been using all month long. They did come out with three colors in these highlighters. And I do own all three. And I would have thought, like when I originally bought them, I thought that I was going to like the color gold or the most because it is more on the gold side. It usually looks better on my skin tone like that kind of a shade so you can definitely see it's lighter this one is the Melt Cosmetics this is a terrible swab but you know you can see the difference this one is definitely more like of a vanilla kind of a situation you know how there's like a holographic trend going around everybody's wearing like pink purple all these weird colors on their the high points of their cheek which I do really like that look this is the perfect thing to mix in with that I feel like it makes it look a little bit more normal it looks like a little bit more golden, a little bit more vanilla-y. So that's what I've been loving this for. And I also have been like, I've been obsessed with it for my inner corner and for my brow bone. I feel like to get powder out of here, you have to dig a little bit, but I find that that's perfect for my brow bone and I love it for that. So I've been using this all month long. If you look at my tutorials, this is listed pretty much every single time because I'm just, I'm obsessed. This is the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. My favorite thing about this palette, okay, my favorite thing is this color Cosmo right here. I, you guys don't understand the obsession with this color. I think it is the most beautiful pressed glitter that I have ever found in my life. And I need Huda Beauty to come out with just a palette full of these. At first, I, I mean, of course, I was automatically attracted to this palette because it's so warm and just it has all those like orange red good tones that like I need in my life. And I really wanted to pick it up, but 
I automatically felt like I wasn't going to be able to create too many looks with this, which I still kind of feel that way because there is really a limited amount of mattes, a, little, a limited amount of transition shades, a limited amount of stuff like that. You really have more of like lid colors in here and even with the lid colors, there's a lot of similarities in my opinion. But I just love every single look that I've created with this palette so much that I feel like I had to include it in here. I, I do love the consistency of these shadows. I did not try the rose gold palette and I was kind of contemplating picking that up during the sale because I wasn't sure if the textured shadows are the same as this Cosmo color but I figured out it's not the same so I, I let that I just let that slide on by. The other one which I feel like needs infinity shout outs on my channel. I've already shouted out like three times and I'm gonna continue doing though. This is the Creative Soul Cosmetics Harmony Palette Eye. I'm so in love with this palette. You guys don't even understand. You guys don't understand. I've used this palette, I believe, in my Rihanna makeup tutorial. I'll link that down below as well. But I use it, I just use it all the time. And I find that these colors are so freaking pigmented. Look at look at this. Let me swatch. Let me swatch for you because you're you're like about to die. This is the color bronzed. This is the color champagne, and this is the color golden. Like are you are you kidding especially the color golden that that almost is like a pressed glitter formula almost it's way more buttery but look at these swatches what the hell i'm obsessed with this palette i feel like nobody talks about this palette and it's kind of upsetting because it is everything to me i don't usually talk about lip products and my favorites but these are really good so the first one i want to talk about is the liquid lipstick in the color hudson by anastasia beverly hills this is a mini it does come in their their like holiday trio the thing that i love about this color it's like a nude but i mean on my skin tone it comes off as a nude uh, if you're lighter than me it'll probably come off more of like a mauve color this is what it looks like right here i honestly love this color this to me is like my perfect nude Next to Ashton. Ashton is my favorite color of all time. Anytime that I'm like, ah, oh, what am I going to wear? Not even a question. Not even a question. It just, it goes with everything so perfectly. The other color that I want to talk about is by Morphe. This is the Morphe and Orpha Zanali. Please don't hate me if I said that wrong. This is the color Vinyl. It does come with a lip pencil, but I honestly have absolutely no idea where my lip pencil went. Like, like no idea. I actually went searching through my lip pencils and I could not find it. The lip pencil is basically just a little bit darker than this liquid lipstick. This is not an everyday color in my opinion. I wore this actually in my Huda Beauty foundation first impressions video. I'll link that down below in case you want to see it on my lips. But this is what it looks like right here. It's definitely more of like a terracotta kind of rosy brown situation. I actually really like the formula of this. This is my only Morphe liquid lipstick. And it's not drying at all on my lips. Like, it lasted all day on my lips. If you watch that video, you'll see, like, it lasted literally all day. I did not reapply in that video. And I just, I just think it is so gorgeous. The last two makeup-y kind of items that I want to talk about are brushes, actually. The first one I want to talk about is the Morphe M530. I have no idea what this brush is supposed to be used for. Do you see that little black, little black spot? <laughs> Eyeshadow. I have no idea what this brush is supposed to be used for but I use it for blush and usually I use like more of an angled brush for blush I think it fits so perfectly right here and why I love this is I feel like if you have your highlighter on and let's say you got a little bit crazy with your highlight and it's like streaky or it's like leaving like an intense line or if it's going into your blush you can use this so easily to just clean that up and it looks so freaking flawless i love this i love goat hair brushes in general for like my blush area i just feel like they blend out so much better but like this brush look at it just look at it. the next brush that i've been obsessed with like like i'm so happy the first time i used this brush i was like that's it i'm never using another brush in my entire life it's perfect this is the morphe r2 brush which i believe means it's from the rose gold collection this is a rose gold color so i'm gonna go ahead and say yes that's what that means this i've been using for my bronzer and oh my god i have so much bronzer on today oh well it deposits color a lot more because it's more densely packed than the 135 does so i've been loving this so much i don't think i don't think i'll ever go back to the 135 that's a big ass lie. If this one was dirty, like I would totally use 135. But I do really prefer this one. It's so good. Cool. Now I have two more like lifestyle-y type of products that I want to talk about. The first one is a pair of sunglasses. You guys know me and my sunglasses. It's like 
it's, it's a real thing. So these are from the Key and Kylie collection, like the part two, and these are called Unbothered. <laughs> I'm obsessed with these. They do come in another color, and I thought about getting the other color, but then I stopped myself because I was like, no girl, like, please get it together. I don't even leave the house, so like, why do I have so many sunglasses? Can you tell me? I feel like such a badass while I'm wearing these, like, you can't tell me anything while I'm wearing these, like, you can't. These, they block so much of my face, and I just think it looks so freaking cool. Look at this reflection. This mirror is, like, is amazing. Like, you can see, you can see all my secrets right now. Like, all of them. All of them. I wore these on Halloween. I got so many snaps from you guys, like, obsessing over my sunglasses. And trust me, I understand they are everything to me. Just just everything like I'm, I'm actually gonna put them away now and try not to use them because it's that serious the last favorite that I want to talk about is like ridiculously random it's so random like it kind of hurts this is a brownie brittle it's actually kind of troubling how addicted I am to brownie brittle like if I don't have it in my house I I really prefer the chocolate chip one but they didn't have it when I went so I had to pick this one up but I don't like the salted caramel one. That's just because I don't like salted caramel. Those are the only three that I've tried. So if if you if you have a suggestion for me, I don't like caramel. Just keep that in mind. But if you have a suggestion for me of one that you like, I will gladly pick it up. But the chocolate chip one is my entire existence. Honestly, this Sheila G lady, like I don't I don't know. I need to find out where she's at and like send her like several bouquets of flowers because. She is just, she is just everything to me. I've basically replaced my love of ice cream and milkshakes and stuff like that. You guys know how I feel about milkshakes. Oh my god. I actually have to go to Target like kind of soon to pick up uh, like a new bag of chocolate chip because uh, that toffee is like, it's really messing with me. I'm not really feeling good about it. So that is it for my favorites. I feel like I got through that pretty fast. I'm kind of proud of myself. You know what I should have said? I should have said that Alana was one of my favorites because she is. She's my absolute favorite like a number one forever don't forget to subscribe if you guys are not already so i will see you guys in my next video bye hi friends welcome back so today i'm bringing you guys another video and this is going to be another tutorial